Hello, hello, hello po sa ating lahat. And it's me again, Teacher Ko, and welcome to Easy Math Tutorial. And for today's video po natin, pag-uusapan po natin yung Module 6 ng ating Grade 8 Mathematics 3rd Quarter. Pero bago pong lahat, if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon so that you'll be updated on my videos. At ang topic po natin ngayon ay Napakagandang topic. A very interesting topic. So, our topic for today is Proving Triangle Congruence Postulate. Okay, so still on Triangle Congruence Postulate. So, last few topics po natin, we're talking about ano, yung mga triangle congruence, di ba? Yung congruence, ibig sabihin nun ay uh, same shape, same size, at saka same measurement. Tapos, na-discuss po natin dun yung Asa, di ba? Angle side, angle congruence postulate. Side, angle side congruence postulate. At saka side, side, side congruence postulate. Okay. So, ang topic po natin ngayon, once again, proving triangle congruence. Okay. So, proving triangle congruence postulate. At ito po yung itsura ng ating module na ginamit. Okay. So, for our learning competency, we have here, proves two triangles are congruent. And for our objectives, we have here the at the end of the lesson, the students are expected to state SAS, ASA, SSS, and SAA congruence postulate, apply the postulates and theorems and triangle congruence, and prove two triangles are congruent. So, na discuss na po natin yung SAS, ASA, at triple S congruence postulate. Okay, so let's proceed. For our lesson 1, we have a triangle congruence postulate, the SAS congruence postulate. We know that two triangles are congruent if and only if their vertices can be paired. So the corresponding sides are congruent and corresponding angles are congruent. Diba? Tapos yung SAS congruence postulate natin ay kung merong dalawang side at saka included angle diba? ng isang triangle congruent sa dalawang side at saka included angle sa kabilang triangle. Therefore, we can say that these two triangles are congruent. Okay, so we have here the illustrative example. So, this is proving triangle congruence postulate. So, for the SAS congruence postulate, we have here the given. We have the triangle here. So, the given is line PC is perpendicular. So, this symbol is perpendicular to segment AB. And its midpoint is at C. Or point C. Then, we're going to prove. Prove po natin. Si triangle PCA is congruent to triangle PCB. Okay, so saan po ba si line PC? Line PC is here. So, one line PC. Saka si segment AB. Dito si segment AB. Di ba? Perpendicular. So, therefore, this one is right triangle or 90 degrees. Tapos, yung midpoint ni segment AB dito si point C, di ba? So midpoint ng segment AB is C. So prove that triangle PCA is congruent to triangle PCB, di ba? Kasi dalawang triangle kasi ito. Okay, so in proving triangle congruence, ah, uh, ito po yung format niya. So meron pa tayong table. Dito sa first column ay statement, sa second column ay yung reason. Okay, so for our first statement, we have here, the midpoint of AB is at C. Saan si AB? Dito si AB. Tapos si midpoint ay si C. So, the reason, ang reason po niya ay given. Diba? Given naman po dito, AB at its midpoint C. Okay? Then, since AB, segment AB is, yung midpoint niya ay si C, so therefore, Yung second statement natin, AC is congruent to CB. Saan si AC? Dito, AC is congruent to CB. So, that, that is the definition of the midpoint for our reason. Diba? Kasi, kung midpoint si C, so therefore, AC is congruent to CB. Okay. Then, next statement, PC is congruent to PC. Saan si PC? Dito, PC is congruent to PC. Bakit PC congruent to PC? Our reason is reflexive property. Diba? We have here triangle P, C, A. Tapos triangle P, C, B. So, this side is common to the two triangles. Diba? Common si PC sa 
nilang dalawang triangle. So therefore, P, C is congruent to P, C. And our reason is reflexive property. And then, angle P, C, A and angle P, C, B are right angles. Ang say P, C, A. Dito, P, C, A and P, C, B. Diba? Right angles. Definition of perpendicular lines. Therefore, kasi, line P, C is congruent to segment A, B. So therefore, P, C, A, this angle is right angle and congruent to this angle and also right angle. Okay? So since... P, C, A, and P, C, B are right angles. Sa ating fifth statement po natin, angle P, C, A is congruent to angle P, C, B. Yes, of course. All right angles are congruent. Diba? Since right angle si P, C, A, right angle also si P, C, B, therefore they are congruent. Then for our last statement, triangle P, C, A is congruent to triangle P, C, B. And our reason is such congruence postulate. Kasi, Sa side, di ba? Side, angle side. Si side PC is congruent to side PC sa kabilang triangle, di ba? That is for the reflexive property. And side AC, ito, and side CB sa kabilang triangle ay congruent. Di ba? Definition of midpoint. Kasi AB, si mid AB, tapos midpoint si C. And then, angle P, C, A, this one, the right triangle, and angle P, C, B are also congruent. So, therefore, SAS, congruence postulate, side, angle, side. So, therefore, P, A, A, triangle P, C, A is congruent to triangle P, C, B. Okay, so I hope na gets po yung ibig natin sabihin. Then, for lesson 2, triangle congruence postulate, the ASA and the triple S congruence postulate, we know that kung sa ASA, di ba, angle, side, angle, two angles and included side, congruent to the other two angles and and included angle uh, included sa kabilang triangle ay congruent. Therefore, we can see that these two triangles are congruent. And also, the SSS triangle congruence postulate. Yung tatlong side ng triangle na to tapos congruent sa tatlong side sa kabilang triangle. Therefore, we can say that these two triangles are congruent. Okay. So, for illustration, we have here given yung given natin, si O. Point O is the midpoint of AD. Ito, ito po yung triangles natin, diba? O, midpoint ni A, D. Diba? This is our segment A, D. Tapos si O ay midpoint. And, segment O, A, this one. O, A, this one. Bisects the angle B, O, P. Our angle B, O, P is here. Angle B, O, P. Bisect, ibig sabihin, hinati niya si angle B, O, P into two congruent parts. Diba? Diba? This one, our OA. Ito, OA. So, therefore, angle 1 and angle 3 is congruent. Okay. So, and then other given is angle A and angle D is also congruent. Angle A and angle D is congruent. So, we're going to prove that triangle A, B, O is congruent to triangle D, C, O. So, we have here the statement. Okay. So, our statement, first statement is O is the midpoint of AD. So, our reason is given. Diba? Given po siya. So, it's our segment AD. Midpoint si O. Then, AO. This one, AO. Is congruent to DO. Yes, totoo po siya. Nakongruent si AO kay DO. Kasi midpoint kasi si O doon kay AD. Hinati niya si AD into two equal parts. Then, OA bisects angle BOP. This one. Given. Then, angle 1 and angle 3. Is congruent since B B O P angle B O P hinati ni O A ng dalawang equal parts so therefore angle one and angle three are congruent okay so next so that is the definition of an angle by sector then angle two and angle three are vertical angles di ba angle two and angle three so that is a vertical angle theorem and then angle one and angle two Transitive property. Angle 1 is congruent to angle 2. That is the transitive property. And angle A and angle D is also congruent given. So therefore, triangle A, B, O and triangle D, C, O are congruent based sa ASA congruence postulate. ASA, ito po sa angle. Diba angle 1 is congruent to angle 2. 
and angle A is convert to angle D, di ba? Tapos yung included side niya ay O, A at saka C, O, D. So that is the reason kung bakit po congruent si triangle ABO at saka, at saka si triangle DCO. Okay, so next illustration we have here for the SSS congruence postulate. O is the midpoint of AC and BD. Saan si O? Dito si O. Midpoint kay AC at saka midpoint kay BD. Then AB, this one AB, is congruent to DC. Okay. So, for a statement, O is the midpoint of AC and BD. So, that's a given, di ba? Then AO is congruent to CO. Saan si AO? Dito. CO. Uh, AO. Congruent kay CO because of this one, midpoint kasi CO. So, therefore, this side and this side is congruent. And also, BO is congruent to DO. Right? Definition of a midpoint. Then, AB and DC are congruent. Given po siya. So, since lahat ng sides sila kay, ay congruent, so therefore, we can say that triangle AOB is congruent to triangle COD by SSS congruence postulate. Okay, so, I hope nag-gets po yung ibig natin sabihin. Then, let's go to our lesson number 3. Triangle congruence postulate. We have here the SAA congruence postulate. So, hindi po natin ito na-discuss ng nakaraang lesson po natin. So, ano po po itong SAA? So, SAA is side angle angle. So, kung merong isang side at saka dalawang angle, dito sa isang triangle, tapos kung gruwin sa isang side at saka dalawang angle sa kabilang triangle, therefore, we can say that these two triangles are congruent. Tapos, yung side nito ay hindi po sa included side. Ibig sabihin, uh, wala po sa gitna yung side. Di ba? Kasi, yung included side, that is for the angle side angle. But this one is SAA, side angle angle. Okay? So, we have here the, the illustration. Given angle P is congruent to angle N. Where's angle P? This one is congruent to angle N. Are right angles. So, right angles po sila. Si angle P at saka si angle N. And angle 1 and angle 3. Where's angle 1? This one. Angle 1 and angle 3 are congruent. Okay? So, prove triangle M and O is congruent to triangle O, P, M. So, we have here the statement. Angle P and angle N are right angles. Yes, that is true because given po siya. And then, angle P and angle N are congruent. Yes, because all right angles are congruent. That is our reason. And angle 1 is congruent to angle 3. Given po siya. Then, M, O, side M, O, and side M, O is congruent. Saan si M, O? Dito, di ba? Common si M, O sa dalawang triangles. Nila dalawang triangles. This side M, O is part of this triangle. And this side M, O also is part of this triangle. So, our reason is reflexive property. Okay. Then, therefore, we can say that Triangle M, N, O, and triangle O, P, M are congruent by SAA. Congruence postulate. SAA. So, side. This one. Side. Angle. Angle. Diba? For triangle M, N, O, this side, then angle, angle. So, that is SAA. And then for the triangle O, P, M, this one. Side, M, O, and then angle, then angle. So, that is the SAA congruence so, I hope na gets po yung ibig natin sabihin. Okay? So, that's it for today or for our uh, module 6. And once again, this is me, Teacher Koy of EC Tutorial. And thanks for watching. See you on my next video.